Old Misery, written by James Sage, illustrated by Russell Ato. For Lewis and Louise Coleman, Lovers for Life, J.S. For findacure.org.uk, R.A. Old Misery, written by James Sage, illustrated by Russell Ato. Old Misery's the name, and for good reason, too. Ain't got two pennies to rub together. Ain't got nothing except old Rudderkin here, and she's about as worthless as a dog with fleas. Meow. Meow. Oh, and that apple tree over yonder is mine. Good eating, apples and all, if it weren't for the wicked stealing. Out, out, wait till I catch you. Trouble is, I can't get around as I used to. Lose my puff going uphill, which brings to mind that fella who came by the other day and me in my stocking feet. I'm so hungry, ma'am. I could eat a horse. Oh, he was a nice cup of tea he was, wondering if I had any extra food lying about, as if I did. Well, now, I says to him, I'm about to rustle up some potato pie for dinner. That's if I ever get started. You're welcome to share a bite with me, such as it is. He soon polished off the pie, he did, and the last of me rhubarb wine, too. My word, that was tasty, says he. Make yourself a wish on me, Granny, anything at all. Now. Not being one to put off till tomorrow what I can do today, I says to him, There's but one wish for me, mister, and it's this here. Whoever I catch stealing apples off my tree will get stuck to it until I decide to let them go. Agreed, agreed, says he. Next day, me and Rudderkin go out to pay the apple tree a visit. And this here's what we found stuck fast. Two goats, a rooster, one cow, a sow with litter, a fine lady in a yellow dress, and the local vicar looking mighty whiffy-waffy. Oh, I gave them some tongue, I did. Then, after a spell, but not before, I let them come down. Why, you never saw such anchum scranchum. Word of this must have got round pretty quick, because the next time me and Rudderkin went visiting the tree, it was ragged with apples enough even to put some by for winter. Now, with what the stealing stopped, everything was going just fine until I hear someone asking for me. Old misery, old misery, who speaks, say I real polite. Why, they call me Mr. Death. I expect you've heard of me. Most folk have. Daisy me, says I. So it's Mr. D come at last, is it? Well, I'm ready to go with you any time. Only maybe you'd oblige me with one last little fancy? You have but to name it, madame. See as how I won't be visiting my apple tree again. Maybe you'd pick a sweet little apple for me? I sure would welcome one last dreary little taste. So this fella, 
as skinny as he was long, climbed to the top of the tree, where the apples are the reddest and the sweetest, and began to choose one. To your left, Mr. D. Now to your right. Now a little higher. Now a little lower. Yeah, that's the one. But when it came to getting down, Mr. D found that he was stuck fast. And he dangled there all that autumn, and all of winter, and into spring, and well into summer. And then one day says I to him, I'll tell you how it's going to be, Mr. D. You can come down if you let me live forever. Yep, forever. And if you can do the same for Mr. Ruddikin here, too. It was all over for him now. Whichever way he wiggled, he had no choice but to grant my wish to live forever. Yep, forever. But then he gave three snorts, long, uh, loud enough to make a hog sick, and shouted. You old Beesum, may you have perpetual itching without ever scratching. Well, I'll be jiggered if Mr. D didn't keep his word. Yep, he did, and that. Itch, itch. Isn't that so, Rudderkin, you soft old thing? Meow. Meow. Which is why misery will always be found in this here world. Itch, itch, itch. Itch, itch, itch. Itch, itch, itch. Itch, itch, itch. Itch. James Sage is the author of over a dozen books for children, including Stop Feeding the Boyds, his first book illustrated with photographs by Robert Duneau, is awarded a Prix d'Arly. He lives in the East Midlands of England. Russell Ato has illustrated many picture books. Among his honors, honors are a Roald Dahl Funny Prize, a Nestle Smarties Book Prize Gold, and nominations for a Mother Goose Award, and two Kate Greenaway medals. Russell lives in Cornwall, England. Ebooks by this author. Stop feeding the Boyds and Old Misery.